Mary Esther says, in the Jonah Code, Michael Rood mentions a Greek text by a Dr. Stevens. I would like to purchase that book. Can you tell me the whole name of the book so I can find it? Thanks so much. Okay, okay. This is Roberta Stephanus. This is uh, Robert Stevens. This is, uh, this is a compiled Greek text. Uh, uh, Roberta Stephanus. Th this became what he did with his team. He took a look at all of the available Greek texts that were accessible to him. They analyzed them. They chose what they felt were the most reliable texts at the time, and they assembled the New Testament out of those texts. This became known as the Textus Receptus, or the received text. Now, since that time, thousands and thousands more manuscripts have been found, much older, and that is why the New King James actually takes out things that were in the original King James because they were only found in late, late text, which tells us that they were added by scribes, sometimes as, as kind of footnotes. They didn't have a footnote protocol at the time. But to want to know the entire name of this so that you can get this book, it's a Greek text. This is way out of your ballpark, okay? Um, you know, if, if you don't know what the Textus Receptus is, you're not going to be able to read a Greek text, and that's exactly what it is. Now, what you may want to get is like, I believe now it's the 27th edition of the Nestle Allen Critical Greek Text, and these scholars have assembled, basically have given you access to about 5,000 Greek manuscripts, any variation between them. But again, this, this stuff is... This is uh, just kind of uh, common knowledge, I guess, in, in the biblical world. And I would suggest that probably what you need to do is study all of my material first uh, before you start delving into reading actual Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic text. You know, I've done, I, I will shave about probably 80 years off of your research life if you'll just watch the videos.